Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet, and we're doing another uh, one in our series on Immutable JS. Uh, this is the third one, so if you haven't caught the first two, you should check them out on my YouTube channel or on CodePlanet.io. Um, so today we're going to talk about the list data structure. Uh, last time we covered maps, and if you remember, uh, you, with a map you pass in a JavaScript object. Uh, so this is the comparable method or the comparable data structure for passing in JavaScript arrays. Um, so I'm going to head over into my terminal here. We've got the immutable library required. Um, so before we were doing something like you know var map one equals immutable dot map, uh, and then we pass in an object like a one b two something like that, um, and then it had all these methods we could do on it. Uh, so for this one, we're going to do list one equals immutable dot list, and then this one you pass in an array like uh, something like this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and delete that and console log out list one. Oh, and we should see something. Oh, I messed something up. Hold on a second. Oh, right. I think actually it's just capitalized when you're instantiating. Let me just change that to a capital L. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So we've got this list type with three in it. Um, so like I said before, maps are for JavaScript objects, lists are for arrays, uh, and we've got, other than that, basically everything's exactly the same, the same API. Um, so just like in the second video, we could do things like, uh, we could do console log and we could do a get. So we could do like, you know, um, dot get and get the first item in that array. And then we could node and it'll, uh, there's zero base, so it'll uh, console log number two. Um, and then similarly for set, the difference is just going to be, as we covered before, that since it's immutable, we can't actually change the original list. So we need like var list two equals you know, list one dot set. Um, and then let's see, we could do something like, um, we could set, I think you pass in the index number. So like the zero item. Um, and then I think you pass in the value. So let's change like the zero, which is currently a one. We'll change it to a hundred, something like that. Make sure that, that works. Uh, and then down here, we'll want to console log list two. Um, cool. So as you can see, we have list one stays the same, but list two gets changed here. Uh, so yeah, the API is like very, very similar. You can also uh, merge just like we saw before. Um, so you could have like, Var list one is one, two, three, then var list two is, you know, something like four, five, six. Uh, and then you could do, you know, var list three now equals, and you do like list one uh, merged with list two. Uh, and then you can console log list three. Uh, and then we should see, oh, did something wrong here, hold on. Uh, list one, one, two, three. Oh, right. Okay, right. So this is going to be a little bit different because um, the keys are going to just be numeric, like an array. So it, like this is the zero place, the one place, the two place. Um, so it's going to be actually overwritten here. So if you wanted, if you had something that was like, um, you know, four, five, six, let's say like seven, something like that, eight. So the merges are going to be different, just like merging an array. Um, then we'll see something like that here. So we got the new array gets merged on top. And then if we had switched the order of the merge, um, then we'll see something a little bit more interesting. Uh, so then here we can see the one, two, three take precedent. And then when uh, there's no conflict for the seven and eight, uh, then list two takes precedent. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically the idea there. Um, again, the documentation is really good online as for seeing what methods you can all use. Uh, they're really, really similar. I just wanted to show that uh, all the cool stuff we could do with objects, with map, we can do with arrays, with list. Thanks.